Our tip of the week uh, today is creating a 3D document view. And 3D document views can also be saved as a, uh, a view uh, to our view map in RDCAD. And the 3D document view is slightly different than some of the other views that I described. So a 3D document view you can do by either right-clicking within the 3D window and then going to the pop-up menu and saying new document from 3D, or you go to the menus, select document menu, document tools, and create uh, a new 3D document. Either way, either of these will work. Once you do that, you're then going to have a uh, 3D document dialog that will appear. And in that 3D document dialog, uh, and I should say that once you create that view, uh, excuse me, once you create that view, uh, you know, then you can uh, change the document settings about that view. So to change the document settings about that view, uh, what you're going to want to do is to uh, go to the, um, uh, again, to the document menu, document tools, three document settings, and open up the document settings here. Or right-click again in that, uh, in, in that 3D document view that you've created and open up the 3D document settings. Now, the importance of the 3D document settings is it allows you to take, for example, if I created a 3D document, it's going to, by default, if the 3D document was color originally, it's going to show as a color 3D document view, such as what you see here. If I want to change it to black and white or grayscale, then what you're going to want to do is to go into your model display settings and start to change certain things, such as um, that you want the fill surfaces to be uniform surface, that you want the cut surface material, material to be a, a black uh, material that you want a uniform pin for cut elements, and you want the cut line pin to be black. For uncut elements, which would be, you know, just the white, you know, elements, you know, things like, I don't want the blue to be blue, I want it to be white. I don't want the, the, the gray wall to be gray, I want it to be white. And so for those uncut elements, you're gonna make a uniform pin color, Unif uncut surfaces pin to be white, uniform pin for uncut contours, clicked on and you want that to be black so that you get a black edge at all these uh, uh, edges rather than the different colors for the outlines you see here. And so you want to set this up so that you have a black and white view. So the 3D document settings are really helpful for you to be able to create and, uh, and define that 3D document in a way that you want it to be used later, uh, later for the purpose of your 3D document. So how can you use your 3D document? First off, you can use it to, um, um, or one of the things that's really nice about it is that you can embellish it. So in your 3D window, uh, if I'm working in my 3D window, I cannot add notes to that 3D window. Yes, I could go and do a screenshot of that 3D window and I could save a view uh, or save that image uh, and place it onto a layout someplace or, or even in a floor plan or any view I want it and then add notes to that, but it's not live. The nice thing about 3D documents is they are live. So once I create that 3D document, I can begin to add uh, notes, I can begin to add detail, I can add line work, um, I can add additional information to it, and it's editable. And that's the really nice thing about it, it oops, is that any information within here that I edit is going to change in my 3D and, and the rest of my, my project. If I change the project, I change a window, a door, I move a wall. It's going to update in my 3D document. So the 3D document, just like your elevations, your sections, um, your inch elevations, are always is a live view. And that is our tip of the week today.